Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine with Cindy. You know, today I want to go over a scripture that I just love, and it's a very encouraging scripture from Paul in Ephesians. And sometimes when you're reading the Bible, we need to take what's exactly the scripture is saying, take it apart in view of, of, in the light of what Paul is trying to teach us. And this morning, the teaching is going to be in Ephesians 3, 20. And it says, God is able to do immeasurably more than all who we could ask or imagine according to his power that is working in us. Now, when I read that, I think, oh, it sounds so good, but I want to take it apart and I want to see exactly what is Paul trying to teach us? What is Paul trying to say to us that we need to put in our belief system that we need to have faith in? And this is how it's going to play out. Okay, let's take it apart. It says God is able. Now, what does able mean? Able means that he has got power. He's got the means. He's got the skill. He's got everything you need. He is able and is not only able, but he is willing because it says to do. He is able, God is able, ready, willing to do immeasurably. What does immeasurably mean? Immeasurably means you can't measure it. It's so big. It's so powerful. It's so over the top that we can't even, our mind can't conceive it, that he wants to do more for us than he ever thought possible in our lives. So let's give him the openness, the wideness, the belief system that's way out here instead of our belief system that's right here. I want my belief system in mighty God to be mighty as he is because he is so mighty. And this is immeasurable more. See, immeasurable more. That's even more than we ever thought than all we can ask. So he's willing to do more than we've even asked him. We ask for something this little bitty and God's ready to give us something this big. So we have to have that belief system to do that. And it says to ask for more than all we ask or imagine. If you can imagine bigger and, and can dream bigger than just Dream on, dream on, and just say, well, you know, I'd like to preach one day in front of a, a church. And then I'd say, no, I want to preach in front of the nations. No, I want to preach in front of the world. So just expand, expand what you think you can do because God is willing. He's able. And then it says, according to what? According to his power. Whose power is that? It's not your power. It's his power, almighty God's power, that is what? Where does it work at? And it says that is working in us. So God has placed power in us. God has placed power in us to work everything out, to imagine more than we can imagine, to think bigger dreams than we can ever think, to do more than what we ever thought we could do. So when we're trying to think, I just need to get through the Bible study I've been trying to get to, you've got the power and the, the energy and the courage to move on. If you're thinking, I need got some bondages I just have to get rid of. I don't think always the right thoughts. My attitude's wrong. God has given you the power inside to turn everything around and to look at it from a godly view. He's given us power on the inside to work everything we need to do on the outside, even if it is to clean out my garage. <laughs> I am still working on it, and I know I've got the power to get in there and do it. And you've got the power to get in there and do what you need to do for your life. This power is for you. It's for us right here, right now, for this lifetime. How do we access it? Through belief. We believe this word that it's in us and God is doing it for us, in us. And we have faith. And we profess it all the time. I thank you, Lord God. And I'm going to just pray this in as I close right now. I'm going to pray this into your life. And this is how we pray when we're praying the scripture. I thank you, Lord God, that you are able to do everything in my life that you that I know I want to do. I thank you, Lord God, that you are, are you do it more greater than I could ever think. That that you are unmeasurably. I can't measure the goodness and the love and and the perfection you want to put in my life to get everything in my life. That I imagine, Lord God, me doing all the things that I want to do in life because you have placed power in me according to your power that is working in me. I am thrilled and over 
joy. I have joy. I have energy. I have strength, Lord God. I have courage. I know I'm blessed and I can walk in the power of the Most High God. For he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. And I can walk in the life that you have set before me and the path that you gave me. In Jesus' mighty name. I know you've got the power and the skill that God has given you to do whatever you need to do today. To do what you need to do tomorrow and do what you need next week. Keep on going because the power never ends. He lives in you. Amen and amen, and I'll see you tomorrow.